Hey yo peeps, my name is Pablo Picanto. Welcome back to Fatal Frame 5. Maiden of Blackwater. That picture, what? Alright, yep, okay. She got caught by her spell, right? Alright, KG, tell me what is going on. Folklorist's notes number five. It is said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout this region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars in special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive. It was the role of shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on the memories after dying and thereafter return to water themselves. Okay, interesting. In doing so, it was believed that the subjects would continue living on as pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would inter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. Okay, this practice may be related, but what did the maidens who become pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld or hereafter, the hereafter is located. Some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea, where others claim it lies underground within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain it is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. The pillars within the reliquaries would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. Perhaps was the special rel reliquaries that allowed them to evade death and continue living frozen in time. It is thought that perpetuating these pillars allowed those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. KG's cassette. Can I listen to that what? Is what what what's the problem? Somebody mumbling. Yep. I hear that. I guess it, it is in that room. <laughs> yeah, ah. That ladder, we know that ladder, don't we? Well, oof, after seeing the cassette, uh, the videotape, I would never go up there. I suppose we have to. But yeah, let's let's take our time here. I saw the silhouette, folklore's notes too. The silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. I've been told there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they returned to the water? What that then imply they are trapped within the mist? Can I go in? The lock is broken, okay. Well, great. Cool. That 
crosses out any other path. And... We're gonna go up there and deal with whatever lurks in the shadows. Could I take that sword with me? I guess the camera is the better choice. The ladder leads up to the attic. Just like in the last part of the video. That ended so great. And a look to the right. Nothing and nobody and everything's fine. No, it's not. It is here. It is here. It is here. It is here. Come on, move. Do something. Oh. What the? The ghost left a notebook behind when it disappeared. Folklorist notes number six. Oh boy. Mount Hikami seems to have been both revered and feared as a mountain of death where only those prepared to die may enter and those who visited were never allowed to leave visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain where shrine maidens kept strict watch in allowing only the qualified that is dying to enter today the shrine at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow records, records of the time period. The records from the shrine's final year list one individual who was able to leave the mountain alive. Kunihiko Aso. After taking his postmortem photographs, it seems he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maidens. I have heard this, his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. If I could see these photos of the Shrine Maidens taken with this special camera, I am certain I could come closer to unraveling the mysteries of Mount Hikami. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house visited only by a, uh, by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. Kunihiko Aso. Was Dr. Aso somehow involved in this? Mist is pouring out into the room. That's not a good sign. I should get out of here. Yeah. Definitely. Well, and that arrow, what, where is it pointing at? That here, okay. Got it. Type. Uh, no. Oh, nope. sorry. I have quite some Type 90 film left, so let's stick with that a little while. Maybe it's gonna be enough. Alright, so Mist is pouring in. Luck's broken. Door did not magically open for me. Yeah, okay. Getting out, getting out, leaving this place is the objective now. Do we have here? Ah, Focus Notes 4. The waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of water flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is the source of this mountain's beauty as well as its sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Monogami is where one could die a proper death. It has long been considered a spiritual spot and the subject of much worship, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount Hikami sect 
taught that upon dying people return to water. Here on the mountain water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to water upon death, rather than moving on to an afterlife. Those ready for death would gather at the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at this scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place. A place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people on this mountain have a yearning for death. That is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. Katie's cassette number two. Um... I can't listen to them here, can I? The I can. Quite what he was writing about. Rui? I I'm just gonna assume she's gonna follow me. Cause no cutscene or anything is indicating something else. Well, that is, that is some fine markings on the ground. Ah, who brought that box here? Okay! Oh, it is... The attic thing. You look... Oh, bleh, Dodging. Ow. Didn't help anything. Cool. What is... What is it with you? What is he wearing? Gotcha. All right. All right. Go round. Don't you agree? Bam. Okay. Type 90 film. In your face. That is how you hunt ghosts. All right, guy, tell me what happened to you. I made it at last. She's waiting for me inside this house. Oh, he was lured in too. I get it. I must hurry. Is it the folklorist? Can't quite make it out. He 
You came for me. Will you end yourself with me? After all this time... Well, on the way to the summit, I found a photo on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head into the forest, but it has become overgrown and is unpassable. Could it lead to that mansion that only the invited can find? It is different from other postmodern photographs. I can only describe it as being beautiful. It had a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of love from the photograph. They were the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. Alright, I have to get out of here. Alright, let's listen to the cassette number three as well. Yeah, well, fucked up shit. Fucked up shit. There are two memorial tablets and a Buddha statue on the altar. Alright. That box. These boxes really fun. Alright, it's not as... That guy again. The Maiden Slayer, right? I remember. Oh. Sorry. Really? Are you kidding me? He dodged out of sight. That is... That is... I don't like that. Alright, mister. Oh! Damn it, he's quick. He is quick. He is quick. Um, camera, please. Into the right direction. Go a little closer. And now, okay. But not too close. Not too close. And we can counter his attack more easily. Okay, he's invisible now again. Gotta make him visible. And then... And then... I have type 90 loaded, my friend. This is gonna be tough for you. Come on, come on. Oh, she's just standing there. Yep. Yeah, watch me. How I ow get smacked in the face. Uh, 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 oh God. Move. <laughs> Damn. He definitely has some quick attacks. Get one for the way. And another one. Because why not? Oh! Yeah, that does damage as well. 
Damn it, missed him. Hey, man. Gotcha. Can I block his attack once, maybe? Okay, this what? Was not an attack. That was after the attack. That was not an attack. That was me not having film ready. Not the map. The items. Oh god. <laughs> you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Are you done? Yeah, what the? I agree. That guy was tough. Okay, how do I leave this place? Mm. Wait, okay. There is not a door. But there is a door to a smaller room here. something worth finding in there? Not really. Does not look like it. Okay. Got. And cross that out then. Alright. The door is being held shut, really? Where am I? I came from through here? Through here, maybe? Okay. Through the place where he crashed in. The Maiden Slayer. Over here, can we do anything with this? Will you end yourself with me? 